Before you sell your house in Toronto, watch this video. Hey everyone, Steve Kim here. On today's video, I'm gonna share with you exactly how much it's gonna cost you, yes you, to sell your house in Toronto if you hire a full service realtor. So let's get right into the numbers. So the average house back in August 2020 in Toronto was trading just over a million dollars. A million, $12,506 to be precise. Now this was the average sales price of all, across all housing types, an average sales price. And that includes the detached, semi-detached, the townhomes, condos, the whole gamut of all properties, so just over a million dollars. Now, when I break that into specific housing types, so let's say condos in Toronto, the average condo in August, 2020, was trading just over $673,000. $673,000. Yes, the average detached house in Toronto was trading just over $1.5 million, making it rain. So let's take the average price of a property in Toronto at just over a million dollars, a million twelve thousand five hundred six dollars Here's the breakdown of what you should expect to pay to sell that beloved house of yours. Number one, home repairs and improvements. Here, I'm gonna add about a minimum budget of around $1,000. And that's really just gonna encompass a good clean and maybe some minor painting here and there. So make sure you got about a thousand, maybe $2,000 set aside for that. Number two is a home inspection. Now, some people will do a pre-list home inspection on a property if you're looking to do a multiple offer. Now, these pre-list home inspections are going to cost you anywhere from $300 to $500, uh, depending on kind of how intensive and exhaustive uh, you're looking to get at. If you're buying a condo, you may want to pull the status certificate. Now, it's really 50-50 out there in terms of who buys the status certificate, whether it's the buyer or the seller. I ask my sellers to you know fork over the extra hundred dollars because look the status certificate condition is the longest of all the conditions in terms of financing inspection status certificate can take up to 10 days and then another few days for a loan review so i ask my sellers to purchase it to kind of expedite the process now realtor commission yes i said commission so some of you are just you know, like nails to a chalkboard <laughs> No, 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 no commissions, no commissions. Look, I'm gonna break down what the average total commission is. And when I say total commission, I'm encompassing the buying side and the listing side. So total commission is on average about 5%. Yes, 5% in Toronto. Don't forget, it's a service fee. And if it's a service, you got it. You gotta pay the HST. So make sure you add an additional 13%. So we take an average price that average price of a property in toronto at just over a million dollars i add five percent on top of that with the hst that five percent comes out to fifty thousand dollars fifty thousand six hundred twenty five dollars and thirty cents that's a lot of money but it's well worth it if you choose the right realtor Okay, let's add the tax in there. The tax there is $6,581.29 for a grand total, drum roll please, of $57,206.59, total 5%. Now, in that, there are some other additional costs that are either gonna be borne by you, the seller, or the agent is going to take that on, on themselves. Now, staging expenses can range anywhere from about $2,000 to $5,000, depending on how big the property is. It's a massive, huge home. It can definitely get higher than $5,000. I'm gonna use $3,000 as the average expense. And again, I know it's 50-50 in terms of whether realtors are gonna cover the cost or sellers are going to cover the cost. You're gonna to have to decide with your realtor who's covering that cost. And number two, marketing costs. Again, this is never borne by you, but this is borne by the realtor. This is why you hire the realtor is for their extensive marketing. And marketing can cost anywhere in the range from about three up to about $5,000. And again, that should be the cost of the realtor. That's why you're hiring them. Uh, the next thing that you're gonna uh, pay attention to are legal fees. Yes, legal fees. If you are selling your property here, you do need a lawyer to close out the transaction. So that's gonna cost you anywhere from about $1,500 to $2,000. Let's take the average right in the middle. I'm gonna use $1,750. Last thing that you're gonna take into consideration 
our moving expenses, moving expenses being anywhere from about 300 up to about 3000, depending on how big the move is. Sorry, I just burped, that's gross. Now I'm gonna use the average of about $1,000. Now, when I add all of those numbers up, what are you gonna have to pay? You're going to have to pay to the T, $63,956.60 to hire a full service realtor and to close out your deal in Toronto. Yes, that sounds like a lot of money. Now, you should absolutely be ensuring that that cost is associated with the list price of your property. Now, here's a little sidebar, side note that I wanna share. When buyer or cooperating agents work with buyers, one of the first things or one of the things that they always say is they say, Mr. Mr. Mrs. Mr. Buyer, you don't pay us any commission. And yes, buyers, you don't actually physically pay your realtor any commission, but let's not get it twisted. Buyers, in that purchase price, the seller and the listing agent have included all commissions in that price. So buyers, are you really paying the commission? You are, you're just not physically giving anything to your buyer's agent. So pay attention to that. On top of this, okay, an additional expense, and I can't give you the exact dollar amount for this because I don't know, again, how large mortgage you have, how long you need to carry it for, uh, something called bridge financing. So if you sell your house or your property or condo or whatever, and you're going to buy another property, if your closings don't align, you're going to need something called bridge financing. So let's say October 30th, your beautiful two bedroom condo sells, and you're moving up to mm, where hashtag R Hill, Richmond Hill, um, and you buy a property up there, but it doesn't close until let's say October 15th. Right, so you gotta move into Richmond Hill October 15th, but you're selling your condo October 30th. And there was just no way to really align those closing dates. You're gonna need 15 days of bridge financing. Now you're gonna go to your lender and say, hey, we have a firm sold contract October 30th, but I need to move in October 15th. Your lender's gonna give you bridge financing. Hopefully they do. And if they do, that rate is going to be higher than your mortgage rate. So make sure you take that expense into account as well. So if you're looking to sell your home slash condo in Toronto, I would take an average of anywhere from 5.5 to 6% of the market value of your home and take that into consideration when you're going to hire a full service realtor who hopefully is gonna do a tremendous job and get you a record price. So hopefully you found some valuable information on what it actually costs for you to sell your house in Toronto. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, comment down below down no value whatsoever thumbs down sad emoji face and while you're here please take some time hit that wonderful subscribe button it's right there it's so easy to do just hit it and make sure you turn on the notification bell for all new videos that i launch as always be great be kind everyone take care